All right, this is problem number two in our min slash max, uh, trying to find the minimum or maximum value. In this case, um, we have a negative, as you can see right here, we have a negative as our uh, negative x squared. So that means that our parabola, when we draw it over here, our parabola is gonna be going down like this. It's gonna go down. Because it's neg whenever it's negative, the parabola goes down like this instead of up. So at, if you remember from our last video, um, the vertex is gonna equal um, negative b over 2a, and we know that um, this is a, this is b, and this is c. So our negative b is going to be right here. We do, since it's positive, we're going to make it negative 4, because it's always the opposite of what it is. And then you have 2 times, and then this negative, there's no number in front of it, but if there is no number, it's always negative, it's always 1. So this case is going to be negative 1. So we have negative 4 divided by 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. A negative divided by a negative makes a positive, so we have two. So this is our x value. And then we go ahead and plug that back in right here for x. So instead of saying f of x, we're gonna say f of two, and we're gonna say negative, and it's uh, two squared, plus four times negative two, because of our b value. Then we put in our c value, which is negative six, and we solve it. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. So two, negative 2 squared is 4. And then negative 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And then you have negative 6. So basically, if you want to simplify this, you have 4 minus 8 minus 6. So 4 minus 8 is negative 4. And then negative, and then negative 4 minus 6, so you're basically adding them together. You have, it's like you owe someone $4 and you borrow six more dollars. Your final answer is going to be negative 10. And so your final answer is going to, your x is going to be 2, your y is going to be negative 10. And in this case, it's a maximum. So our value is going to be, our max is going to be equal to negative 10. And if we draw that as a graph, it would look something like this. We have our axes here. And it's going to go, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's going to go all, sorry, it's going to go all the way down here because it's at negative 10. And it's going to open down, so it's going to go like this. And it's going to look something like that. And that is how you graph. Um, and I mean, sorry, that's how you solve for the minimum and maximum, and then graph your um, parabolas for your quadratic functions. All right, that's it.